Here are uh, seven areas, and in each of the areas, we're really seeing God move. First of all, we are we're, uh, serving the community in which we, we live, and that happens through a multitude of ways, especially through uh, toddlers' work, through children's work, through youth work, through adult work, through serving people of all ages in our community. I mean, if you want to have one example of that, just think of the way that children are fed through mate lunch in the half terms. But I could talk an awful lot about how uh, St Mary's in, in many different ways serves its community. Second part of our, our vision here would be uh, building a community centre. Now here's one of our seven pieces that hasn't really uh, taken yet. We believe prophetically that God is calling us to have a community centre. Um, but that's not, that's not happening. But what is happening is the renewal of the community centre that we've got called St John's Hall, which is becoming a wonderful community hub. And so I see that as, a, in a way, a picture of, of the future, that at some point uh, that may well be developed more than it is already, but at some point there will be a community centre. That's a piece of the jigsaw not forming very well yet. The next piece of our vision is renewing our churchyard and this is something that uh, as an Anglican and one who's actually been in the Anglican church all my life and has been part of helping churchyards to be honouring and beautiful and prayerful spaces. It's really on my heart but it's also on the heart of our whole church community and we have done an enormous amount on this part of the vision over the last four years. Our churchyard is so much clearer, it's so much more honouring, there is less debris, uh, uh, dead trees, uh, fallen graves, uh, there's been restoration going on and it really is beginning uh, to look much more beautiful. We've actually got an awful lot more that we want to do in this churchyard um, in that we want to plant it out, make it look even more beautiful and renew, especially in the next coming two years, we want to see all the pathways in our church renewed, made wider, made safer, so that people with all sorts of disabilities can make it through our churchyard really easily can come to church really easily and can come and just sit quietly and pray in our churchyard. Another part of our vision is the deepening of our discipleship. That's our walking with Jesus day by day. And we really want that to be so much deeper than it is. And we're doing that in all sorts of ways, not least uh, having a, a stream of teaching called Meat Not Milk, bringing in national level speakers so that people can really think through at a deep level the different issues of our discipleship. But more than that, we're running the Bible course at the moment, the Bible Society um, has put together, and that's a tremendous course that's actually attracting both church and unchurch people to it. And so we are really wanting to deepen our discipleship. That comes through preaching, that comes through our small groups, uh, that comes in all sorts of different ways in our church's life. Another angle of our vision at St Mary's is to raise up leaders. and. Uh, for me, it, this is very exciting. We raise up leaders amongst our children. We raise up leaders amongst our young people. We raise up leaders amongst our adults. In Dream Factory, which is our kids club on Saturday morning, if you went there, you would find children being raised up into leadership. This is really important to us, that the future of the church has leaders that have been leaders when they were children, young people and adults. And for myself, also, I'm on the watch all the time for people within the people of God here to see who the future church leaders are. And uh, I, I might tell some stories at another point in this film, but uh, there is some very excellent stories around on raising future ordained leaders and pioneer leaders. Another part of our vision is to create a strategic staff team when I got here, there was a staff team and, uh, and it was a good, a good staff team, but everybody worked in isolation from each other. Now we work together, we work from a hub, we are working strategically, we are much stronger. There are 18 members of the staff team. Not all of them are paid, some of them are voluntary uh, staff team workers and some of them are paid workers. But we really have got now a strategic staff team and what that has done is ha it's increased the capacity of the life and work of this church. And that's very exciting. So that part of the vision is really growing and is strong. Another part of our vision here at St Mary's is to pioneer new Christian communities. 
And we, we are doing that. It's part of my great passion as an evangelist and as a church planter. I, I long to see new communities of faith forming. And when I got here, one of the first things that I saw was that St Frideswides, which is a local parish, uh, needed to be replanted. And that's exactly what's happened in, in the last year. 18 months, um, we've sent a leader and some people alongside the people that were already there in St. Frideswise. And that church is now so much stronger and has a wonderful vision of its own. And uh, so that's, that's a transplanting, that's like a grafting into an existing church. But we've also pioneered a new community from scratch with Ben Thorpe on Newton Lees. And Newton Lees is a, a brand new estate in the context of, of our geographical Anglican parish. And uh, that church is now called St. Joseph Newton Lees. And it has 48 people and 24 of those people, that's 50% of the population of that church is from a totally unchurched background. They wouldn't be there unless we were there as St. Joseph Newton Lees. And so we're really excited that we've been able to plant a pioneer church. We've been able to transplant a church from St Mary's and in 2020 September we're looking at planting our third church plant uh, somewhere in, in the city of Milton Keynes we're not absolutely sure yet. The fruit for me of planting churches is seeing and knowing that people are coming to Jesus Christ. It's about creative experimentation and if it fails that's okay but as a Church of England we must must experiment. We must try and reach out to, to rescue those who are without God and who will die without God unless we share Jesus Christ. And so that's what church planting is really, in essence for me, is, is all about. And that is happening because I know that in both plants, people are coming to faith, being baptised and becoming disciples of Jesus Christ. So that actually it's going to be lifelong, not just short lived. But these are the seven areas of our vision. And in each one, there has been real development. In one area, um, actually, we, we are tackling it in a different way. And uh, at some point in the future, I do think there will be a community centre. But as a church, we're really excited about our vision.